Hi, my name is Ron Wheeler. I'm a full-time cartoonist. I've been one since 1980. And for years, people have been coming into my studio wanting to know what it is that I do and how I do it. And I've been giving them tours. And then after a while, I thought, well, I need to somehow consolidate this or I'm not going to get any work done. So about six years ago, I began doing cartoon camps and teaching some cartoon lessons in my basement. And I'd give people a studio tour while I, while I do that. But then there are people that don't live in Kansas City that want to know what it is that I do and they want to see how I do it and learn everything about it. So after much prodding, uh, some people have encouraged me to go ahead and put everything I know about cartooning on videotape. So this is the introduction uh, and I'm going to tell you about what I do and uh, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you on the teaching tapes. So in this first tape, I just want to introduce myself and let you know a little about what, what it is that I do. And this is the first of three intro videos that I'm going to give you. And on this one, I'm going to talk about um, what some of the things the course is going to entail. Now, you may be asking, why do we need another cartoon teaching class? And my answer to that is, we don't. But I'm going to do something different. So it isn't just going to be a cartoon teaching camp. It, I'm going to go through all the basic things that, um, that you need to know to be able to draw cartoons, things that you can find in any book in the bookstore. But I'm going to give you something more. I'm going to talk a little bit more about some of the behind the scenes things. I'm going to talk a little bit more about what it takes to be a cartoonist internally. I'm going to talk about what motivates me to be a cartoonist. I'm going to talk about some of the equipment I use as a cartoonist. I'm going to talk about some of the types of jobs that I do as a cartoonist and, and show you some examples of that. Um, this isn't just about learning how to draw funny pictures. This is learning how to use a gift like cartooning, or it could be something else. It could be music, it could be videotaping, it could be something else for you. But using that with a sense of purpose. And, uh, and so you can see that this isn't just for kids. This is, yes, I'm going to make this very much for kids. It's going to be very kid friendly. But this video series is also for adults and is for people at any stage of life. If you have any interest in pursuing a passion of your own, this is something that you should watch. Some of uh, what you're going to learn are things that I learned as a kid when I was learning how to draw cartoons. Cartooning is one of those things that's very self-exploring, uh, self-exploratory, if you will. Um, you have to kind of look for things and be able to interpret your world through a cartoon. And there are certain things that I learned how to do, um, not just in writing cartoons, but in learning how to draw cartoons that I want to show you that you can do as well. Some fun games that you can do and some fun things um, using modeling clay. And with that, uh, you'll learn how to draw a character from different angles and be able to create your own children's books, be able to create your own comic strips. Um, there's a lot that I've, I've learned over the last um, three plus decades about cartooning that, uh, that I think that I can show you. There's another aspect of this that, that I want to talk about. I mentioned earlier that what's inside, um, you know, the, the mental aspect and the, and the character aspect. But um, I found, uh, I read a book years ago called The Parable of, uh, of Peanuts. Parable of Peanuts. It was about Charles Schultz and his, his work um, as a cartoonist. And this guy um, and in that book and also a book, follow-up book he wrote called The Gospel According to Peanuts. He talked about how Charles Schultz's Christian faith came through in his characters. And he gave this one premise. He said, um, he says, whatever you do, if you put your heart into it, it's going to reflect what's in your heart. And I'd like to think that I do the same thing. And much of my work as a result, because I'm a Christian, has been done for Christian ministries and publishing companies. Things like Sunday School Curriculum, things like magazine art, children's books, that sort of thing. And I, I think even, even in simple drawings that I do, I think there's something that communicates what's in my heart that comes through. And that's, that's one of the difficulties people have when they, when they learn how to draw, is that if they put their heart into it, they're going to be vulnerable to their art. They, they, will, um, they will not want to show people because they're afraid people are going to laugh at it for all the wrong reasons. And, uh, but that's what makes art good. When you put your heart into something, it's going to reflect what's in your heart. So as I mentioned, most of the things that I do is for Christian ministries and publishing companies. Now, do you have to be a Christian to take this class and to learn all these things? No, not at all. 
Um, uh, in fact, uh, I just want you to approach it with an open mind. Uh, I've got a couple of comic strips I'm going to show you here in a minute that kind of explain where I'm coming from. And cartoons are a communication vehicle for explaining things, okay? And, um, and, and I, I think this kind of explains it well. Okay, this is a comic strip I did a while back. It's probably one of the earlier ones I did. It was for a, a magazine called uh, Evangel, I think, or um, it, it was a denominational publication. And this was a subject on evangelism, the whole stigma that goes along with evangelism. And so it's an it's a eight-panel cartoon, and, and, uh, and as I said, this is very early in my career. Um, so my drawing style has kind of changed a little bit since then, but I want, to, I want to go through this because it helps kind of explain some of the things I was talking about with regard to um, your Christian faith being part of it. And so here in this one, he says, that man looks like he needs a tract. For those who don't know, a tract is a little brochure that presents the, the Christian message in it. And, um, and so here he is. This is your typical Christian guy. He's got polka dot shirts, a big cross around his neck, and he's got these striped pants, and he's really nerdy. Okay, so he comes up to this, this other fellow, and he's a typical non-Christian. He's smoking a cigarette, drinking a beer, and he has shallow thoughts, shallow thoughts, shallow thoughts, shallow thoughts. Okay, these are awful caricatures, but for the sake of the cartoon, this is what, what I'm showing. And you see his approach there. He's sneaking up on the guy. Not very loving, is it? And so here's his, his approach. He screams, Banzai, and then he has the guy around the neck, and he's screaming, Believe or Die, and he's throttling him by the neck. So very loving approach, right? And so he has his tract, and he's cramming it, literally cramming it down the guy's throat. And he's screaming, take my tract and believe. And he's screaming, you, he's still screaming. He says, you must believe, as the guy is running away. And he sees the guy gets away. And so finally, in the last panel, he says, well, at least I sowed some seeds. Now, sowing seeds is one of those, those Christian idioms that, that's used. It's taken some things out of Scripture that talks about how you know some people sow and other people reap and so forth. Well, this guy thinks he advanced his cause by, by uh, coming on very strongly like that. Now, here's another comic strip I wanted to show you. This is one that I, I tried to syndicate years ago. It was called Dipstick. And here is, here is Dipstick. He's looking, talking to his friend Ralph, and he says, What are you doing, Ralph? And Ralph says, I'm writing a guest editorial for the local newspaper. They like to buy guest editorials from time to time, reflecting the heartfelt convictions of the public. He says, how do you like this for a title? Jesus is Lord. Is that too intense? I don't want to turn people off right away, you know. Maybe I should say Jesus is an important consideration. Or better, God is an important consideration. Jesus is God anyway. Or how about religion is an important consideration? Or more simply, religion is a consideration. Or better, philosophy is a consideration. No, wait. Philosophy is something to think about. Let's see, what's a better word for philosophy? I got it, I got it. Thinking is something to think about. And he sees how stupid that is. Jesus is Lord, go for it. The reason I show these two comic strips is because, um, not because they're great comic strips, but because they underscore the point that I want to get at. Um, when I'm going to tell you about my world and who I'm doing cartoons for and what I'm seeing in my cartoons, um, on one hand, I am not going to club anybody over the head with my values, my Christian faith, or anything like that. And anybody um, who takes this course will be able to appreciate and understand what it is that I do and uh, will be able to glean some things from it. So I'm not going to be like that first guy in the first cartoon where I'm cramming my... my uh, my work down somebody's throat. Nor am I going to be like the second guy, the second comic strip, where I water down and water down and water down, water, water down what I have to say to the point that um, that there's no message at all. Thinking is something to think about. I'm not going to be like that. So I'm going to be honest with you with regard to my Christian faith, but I'm not going to force it on anybody. Now I, I need to say that up front because with um, with all the things that you're going to see. Um, you're going to wonder if this is some kind of proselytizing going on here or something. Well, that's not, that's not my intent. My intent is to show you cartooning and, uh, and to show you how my cartooning is an expression of my heart. And, um, and whatever it is that you do, whether it's cartooning or something else, it should be an expression of your heart, whatever your values are, whatever motivates you. And that is what makes this cartoon class different from anything else out there. 
So I want to make that point clear. Now in my next intro video about this, I'm going to give you an overview of all the types of things that I do, just to give you a range of things that, that I've been involved with over the, the last several years, and, um, and give you a, a, an idea of some of the things that you might be able to aspire to yourself. So I hope you join me. I look forward to teaching more. Thank you. Bye. that um, uh, um, uh, I, I need to start